Howdy, and welcome to this introduction to my new plugin called CD Transfer Tools. CD Transfer Tools is a workflow plugin that makes transferring objects around in the scene a little bit easier. We'll uh, start out by taking a look at the set of transfer commands. We have uh, CD Transfer, CD Transfer Mirror, CD Transfer Replace, CD Transfer Swap and CD transfer links. Now most of these commands also have options dialogs which you can access by holding the control key down and clicking on the command. First let's uh, take a look at the uh, CD transfer command. The main feature of CD transfer command is that it performs the same basic transfer operation as the transfer objects tool in Cinema 4D. But the CD transfer command has several additional features that make it more versatile. To perform a basic transfer, you would select the object you want to transfer and in the viewport shift select the target object and call the CD transfer command. Now if you're using R10 and you want to do your selecting in the object manager remember that you select the object and then control select the target and call the command. CD transfer command can also do group transfers. So if we select the object and then shift select more than one target and let's open the options dialog we have a couple of group transfer options here. If we select first to group then the object is transferred to the center of the target objects. And if we open up the options and select group to last then all of the selected objects are transferred to the last selected object. We can also do transfers within a hierarchy. So if all of these objects were in a hierarchy like this and say we wanted to transfer the sphere over to where the uh, cylinder is we could select the sphere, shift select the cylinder, hold the shift key down and call the command. The CD transfer command will also work with the axis tool so that if we have an object which is editable we can then transfer its axis only. One of the nice features about CD transfer command is that if our target object is an editable object then we can make our transfers in uh, the various edit modes. So if I select the object and shift select the target and then select point mode I can select a point and transfer the object to that point. This also works with uh, edge mode. And polygon mode. Now if you noticed when the object was transferred to the surface of uh, the target object it aligned itself to the surface normal and that's because we had enable rotation turned on. If we turn off enable rotation and then do that uh, same transfer then uh, the object is not aligned to the surface normal. If we select a single object and that object is editable CD transfer can work with the various edit modes to transfer the axis of the object to the selected components. For example, uh, if we go into point mode and select a point 
and call the command, the axis has been transferred to that point. This also works in edge mode and polygon mode. Now if we uh, enable rotation, uh, when we make the transfer, you can see the axis is aligned to the surface normal. Now let's take a look at the CD transfer mirror command. And the CD transfer mirror command transfers the object to a mirrored location of the target. So if you select the object, shift select the target, and call the command, you can see uh, the object was transferred to the mirrored location of the target. Now if we take a look at the options, we'll hold the control key down and call the command. We have the normal mirror options. We can uh, mirror on a global axis or local axis and we can choose which axis to mirror across. Then we have the standard transfer options here uh, to transfer position, scale, or rotation. We can also transfer an object to the mirrored location of itself simply by selecting a, a single object and calling the command. The CD transfer mirror command will also work from within a hierarchy. If we have a, a hierarchy of objects here and we want to transfer this object to a mirrored location of that object but leave the other objects where they are, we'd select the object, shift select the target, hold the shift key down and call the command. The CD transfer mirror command will also work in the uh, axis tool so that uh, we can mirror the axis only. Now this really comes in handy if we've created a mirrored version of a model by using current state to object on a symmetry object and our mirrored versions axis is still in the same location as our original model. Uh, we can select the mirrored version, select the original version, go into the axis tool and call the CD transfer mirror command. And now we have our axis uh, mirrored for the uh, mirrored version. Okay, now let's take a look at the CD transfer replace command. The CD transfer replace will replace the target object with the selected object. So if we uh, select the sphere and shift select the cube and call the command, you can see the uh, cube was replaced by the sphere. Now if we wanted to make that same replacement but we wanted the sphere to stay where it is, we could select the sphere shift select the cube, hold the control key down and open up the options dialog. And we can turn off position, scale and rotation. And the cube is replaced by the sphere but the sphere stayed at its current location. Now if the target object has any kind of rigging on it, all of that rigging will be transferred to the replacement object. Here we have a cube that has an expresso tag on it and a user data to control the rotation of the uh, cone. And when we replace the cube with the sphere, you can see now the sphere has the expresso tag on it and the user data and it still controls the rotation of the cone. The CD transfer replace will also work with hierarchies but only as long as the replacement object and the target object are in separate hierarchies. So 
if the replacement object had child objects and you wanted those child objects to stay where they are when we do the replacement you would select the object shift select the target and hold the shift key down and call the command and you can see the child objects stayed in their original location CD transfer replace also works with the axis tool so if our replacement object was editable and we selected the axis tool shift select the target and call the command you can see that only the axis was transferred during the replacement now let's take a look at the CD transfer swap command and CD transfer swap will transfer each of the selected objects to the other one's location so if I select the sphere and shift select the cube and call the command you can see that each object was transferred to the other one's location now if the two objects are in a parent-child relationship we can still make the swap transfer select the object shift select the target and call the command CD transfer swap will also work from within a hierarchy so if we have a hierarchy like this and we wanted to swap the positions of the sphere and the cube we select the sphere shift select the cube hold the shift key down and call the command if the two objects are editable CD transfer swap can also work with the axis tool to swap the two objects axes only so if we select the object shift select the target uh, select the uh, axis tool and call the command you can see that this object's axis has been moved over here and this object's axis has been moved over there one of the nice features of CD transfer swap is that if the two objects we're going to swap have identical user data parameters the values of those parameters are also swapped for example here we have two foot controller objects that have identical uh, user data sliders and each uh, foot controller has a different value for the foot rocker slider to achieve these foot poses so uh, what we can do is hold the control key down to open up the options dialog and we can turn off X and Y so that we're only swapping the Z position and click on OK and you can see the uh, foot controllers had their Z position swapped and also the uh, user data sliders have been swapped to achieve the correct uh, foot poses